Okay, so this question is asking us to calculate the delta G for the reaction. 3 copper plus 2 aluminum gives us 3 copper solid plus 2 aluminum 3 plus. It gives us our standard reduction potentials. And we're in our Faraday's constant, and we're left to calculate delta G. So the equation we have to use for this one is delta G equals the number of our electrons times Faraday's constant times our cell potential. Pretty straightforward. So we get our cell potential from adding up, or actually subtracting our cathode from our anode, or our anode from our cathode, and we can see that our cathode is one that's going to be reduced or gain electrons. In this case, our copper is going from 2 plus to 0, meaning that it is gaining electrons, and that would make this aluminum our anode because it is losing electrons. So we just go over to this chart over here, and we can see that these are two values, so we just do 0.34 plus because it's going to be minus minus 1.66. It's going to use a plus. So our cell potential is 2 volts. Now we have our cell potential. We can plug everything in. Delta G equals, and N is our number of electrons transferred. So we have 3 moles of copper getting multiplied by that 2 plus, that gives us a 6 plus, and we have to add 6 electrons to get us to 0. So our electron, electrons transferred is 6, Faraday's constant is given to us at the top, and it's 6,500 joules over volts per mole. And then lastly, we just have to put in our cell potential, which we calculated was 2 volts right now. And now we have all of that. Just plug that guy in the calculator. And it gives us a value of 1.158 e to the 6 joules.